Hi, I'm Jackie Tomes and I run the Property Strategy Workshop along with my uh, business partner uh, and husband, Dave. Now, uh, we've invested in property ourselves. We decided to start doing this back in 2013 because we wanted to have more freedom than we had in the jobs that we were doing at that point. Uh, so we started scrimping and saving. Uh, I worked a second job to be able to build up enough of a deposit to buy the first investment property, uh, which we did back in 2014. It was a one bedroom flat right on the outskirts of South East London, which we renovated and then rented out. Uh, from there, we figured out that actually you didn't just have to save your own money to buy properties, you could work with investors. So we scaled up from that point by working with investors and JV partners to do another eight deals over the next six months whilst working full time. It was crazy, but it meant that off the back of that crazy year, we were, uh, I, I was able to quit my job and Dave followed soon after. After that, we'd scaled up from just buying individual leasehold flats on the outskirts skirts of London to buying whole blocks of flats. So we own the whole freehold, renovating the whole building, and yet again, still hanging on to those properties uh, and renting them out. Uh, so since that des decision to start back in 2013, the portfolio is now worth around six million pounds. And thanks to the income that it generates, it means that we are able to live a life of much more freedom and choice than we had when we were working full time. And to go on holiday every six weeks. It's kind of what we've become quite well known for more than anything else, really. And that holiday every six weeks was about creating a property business that, that served us, that provided a great service to our, our tenants and the people that we worked with, but also served us and the reason why we started as well. Now, along that process of building that property business from scratch, we have... We've learned a lot about the, the pitfalls and how you need to navigate that process in order to make sure that you end up with what you want at the end of it. And whilst property has been uh, great for us, along the way we found that we have got a huge passion for strategy. Uh, having really learned how to build a great property business thanks to strategy, it's shown us there's a whole other way of working which we weren't exposed to when we first started in property that I really wish we'd known about. So my mission now when we're not doing property is to help other property investors to get strategic and to build brilliant property businesses that ultimately serve them and their purposes. So it's about, uh, if you're hearing this and you're, you've come to the, to the site, you're probably ready to start hearing about a different way to invest in property because there's a lot of, uh, I see it happen a lot, a lot of investors out there who've got big dreams about why they decide to go out and put themselves under the stress and risk to start investing in property because they've got some vision of what life could be like if they were to do that. Um, but too often I see property investors creating themselves another job and not ultimately creating themselves that freedom and that time that they crave when they started. So that's what property strategy is all about. Um, so it's great to have you here with us. Um, we, you may have seen, if you've been browsing, we run a strategy meet um, and I go around the country as well, speaking at various events, trying to spread the word about what property strategy really is. Uh, there's a big misconception with this word strategy and property and things like just choosing whether you're doing HMOs or single lets or conversions or rent to rent, whatever it may be, those, I don't call those strategies, those I call business models. So that's your business model. Yes, you need to know it, but then actually strategy is what you wrap around that. And that's what can ensure that you can scale up without taking all of your personal time and really creating yourself another job. So that's what I mean when I say property strategy. And that's what I'm on a mission to bring to the property investment world. Because if you can be more strategic, then ultimately you're going to build a business that serves you and your clients, whoever they may be, so much better. So I'd love to invite you to come along to come along to our one hour speeches, come along to our strategy meet that we hold in London um, and really understand what it means to build a property business that gives you what you're ultimately looking for. Because what I found was, uh, as I got involved into the property world more, I'm not initially from this background, was that there was so much um, confusion and overwhelm in this industry. Um, and whilst there is some great training and education out there in property about how to do the technical detailed part, 
that strategic approach in terms of how you take just buying properties and turn it into a business because a business is what is something that can work without your constant involvement well just have it going on a property training course isn't going to give you the tools that you need to go and do this you actually need to learn how to look at it like a business um, and also it's about you um, what, what's the end result that you're hoping for why did you start decide to start investing in property what is it that you were hoping and dreaming for about about because that's what we need to make sure property gives you at the end. So what is your end result? And a really great strategy will give you that. It's not about just hearing what someone else is doing or has achieved in property and just saying, oh, I want to copy that. It's about taking that and putting your own unique spin on it to make it really work for you. So before I even got into property, I, I used to work in the arts um, and the arts wasn't really working out for me. Uh, problem is, <laughs> maybe you can relate to this, I'm not very good at being told what to do by other people. And so I just kind of craved having my own thing, my own business. And so that led me to do to do a business degree, um, but specifically focused in the arts because that was my background at that point. And that was brilliant. It was a whole eye opener in terms of all the different aspects of a business from marketing to, to finance and how you understand accounts um, and then how you bring all that together to put on, in this case, great events, uh, which was brilliant. And it really inspired me. So, you know, what? I really want to have my own business. Uh, but at that point, I didn't have what I thought you need to have all these wonderful ideas. You know, you watch things like Dragon's Den and you think you need to have all these fantastic ideas to be able to start your own business. Uh, so I didn't have any of those ideas. So I didn't start one. Uh, and that led me after my degree to working in qualitative research. So it was actually a really interesting job. It was focus. It was a mar um, you may have done a market research focus group before, and so I would be running focus groups, asking people loads of crazy questions about how various products make make them feel. You know, how does this washing powder? How does it make you feel? I was a person asking those annoying questions and having to analyse all that data and feed that into strategic marketing direction for, for big brands. Uh, so it was a really good job and gave me a, a huge understanding of human psychology and human behaviour, which has become very helpful later on. Uh, and thanks to scaling up by working with investors, we went from just buying one property in 18 months to being able to buy another eight or nine properties in one year, thanks to being uh, focused on what our business model was, which was one bed flats that we were refurbishing at that time and really scaling that up. Uh, and we went hell for leather. Once we figured out that you didn't have to work with your own money anymore, we went out there and we were buying properties like they were going out of fashion. And it was so exciting. It was an amazing, brilliant, time where you just feel like you're taking control of your own life uh, and I was really grateful that I had some property education that pushed me forward uh, and inspired me to go and do that but the problem was there was no foundations we just started buying properties like a kid in a sweet shop slight exaggeration but we didn't have any of the fundamentals um, and I can remember Oh, it, all of a sudden, uh, all of these different things that we were trying to focus on that point, because we got very distracted, and maybe this is something that you can relate to, uh, whilst we had great initial focus when we started out, suddenly we started getting involved in other property communities and found that there were so many other ways that you could make money in property that we started trying to do everything. So we were trying to do not just single lets, but we're looking at HMOs, uh, rent to rent, conversions, um, Anything that you could do to make money, we were interested in, in it. And from a great initial focus, we just became so distracted to the point that we were spread so thin that I experienced complete and utter burnout, uh, lost all excitement and enthusiasm for doing property and really was like, why did I bother started doing this in the first place? Like it was a lot easier when I had a job. And I'm really grateful, I'll be forever grateful to a gentleman called Elliot Kay, who spotted in me these signs of overwhelm, lack of focus, and he sat me down and he said, why did you decide to start investing in property in the first place? And to that question, I just broke down, just started crying. You know, you just sob uncontrollably, men maybe not so much, but ladies, you just sob uncontrollably because you suddenly realise how hard you've been working towards something and yet you have gone in completely the other direction to give yourself the opposite. Um, so the answer for me was I wanted to have more time with my now wonderful husband um, and to be able to go on travels and adventures. 
but that wasn't what we had. And off the back of those conversations, Elliot became our first ever business mentor, which I didn't even know existed at that point. Um, and he helped to take us from what was really a world of chaos to being very focused on the end result that we were looking for. And it just made us realise that, oh my God, this, this is missing from the property investment world. Why is no one out there training and teaching this? Because this is so fundamental. And if you lose sight of what you're ultimately trying to achieve, what is the point of doing it all anyway? So that's what we're now on a mission to get out there into the property world, particularly with our property strategy workshop, which I'll come on to later. It's all about cutting out that thing I call the shiny penny syndrome, that uh, spread out focus where you're trying to do everything in property that sounds exciting because you think that's the best way to do it but that's what led us to burnout and I want to prevent other people going there because there's a better way but not enough people are talking about what that is so that's what I'm on a mission to try and try and change and get out there to do things differently so we went and studied business strategy and this alongside what I'd learned about human behaviour and psychology and decision making from working in qualitative research have really come together to help me really serve property investors who are wanting to build great businesses, who are disillusioned by the, the get rich quick schemes um, and the you know, make yourself a millionaire by next Wednesday messages, which don't work for most people to actually saying what do we really want and how do we make property work for us and do it in a very business focused way that's going to be scalable and stand the test of time so that's what our whole ethos is about and for us the end result is being able to go on a holiday every six weeks that is what success looks like for you uh, for us sorry but you know whatever it means for you we need to make sure your business is actually going to enable that um, and I've observed m many investors go out there trying to get one thing and end up with completely the opposite. And we've been there too, so I can relate to that firsthand. But I'm so grateful to have been through the experiences that we have, not only of property education and training, but also of business strategy. And to say that if you can bring the combination of both technical understanding and a great business strategy together, you can go out there and build something brilliant that truly serves you. And so I'm really grateful that we were able to figure out this way of working uh, and I know that it's but working with many clients now and over the past few years see it working for other people too who are uh, intelligent driven people but have maybe not got the right focus in terms of how they're doing their investing to mean that it will work for them rather than just whoever that person is up there on that stage.